Hello there. Today we are going to talk about the book Bound Feet by Kelsey Yu. Now this is an indie book that is published by Cemetery Gates Media and it's also part of the My Dark Library series which is curated by Mother Horror aka Sadie Hartman. My Dark Library series I believe there's six books so far in it. So Bound Feet, I was lucky enough to receive an ARC. This book was a great ghostly and dark novella and I've been on a serious novella kick lately. I I'm always impressed to see an author wrap up a story and a novella because I mean, to add elements of depth and to have a story that really is truly fantastic, you have to cram so much into like so few pages. And I think there's 100 and 115 pages. So I read this in a couple hours. It was gripping from the start of it. So it's a dark tale of when the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest on a night of the hungry ghost moon. What happens is there's these, these two friends who are mothers who are bonded through grief of the loss of their children. They truly feel like understood by each other because they've gone through something so similar. And so they have this great bond and they decide they're going to break into at nighttime Portland's Chinese Garden and Ghost Museum. And the Ghost Museum, there's all these different ghosts and, and legends of these ghosts. And they have actual artifacts from these different ghosts. In the, the beginning of the book, it starts out and it has this whole legend of this ghost that is named Ning. Just like a brief synopsis of the legend that kind of leads into this story. There is this man and he's out burning offerings to his dead father on the night of the hungry ghost moon when the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest. And as he's doing this, you know, he speaks a prayer and a lady and her maid walk by and he sees this lady and he's immediately struck by her. And then all of a sudden he starts like wasting away and they can't figure out what's wrong with him and then his cousin comes to visit and then they uh the cousin's like what is going on and he he tells them he's like this woman i saw i can't think i can't eat i can't sleep and so the cousin's like okay i'm gonna track her down so they track her down they get married but he continues to waste away and they're like <laughs> it comes to like some sort of head where they're like okay your wife is a ghost and she's draining him of his life. And so that's the story and the legend that, that comes to fruition. And then the people that own the museum that is put into Portland are supposedly ancestors of this ghost woman. It sounds like this fantastical and, and haunting and creepy magical place. These two women, Jody and Sarah, they sneak in at night. Their plan is to, you know, go in, they're gonna have some little altars, burn some offering and you know, maybe try to contact the dead. And and they both are kind of like, the one's a real skeptic and the other one doesn't really believe it's gonna happen, but thinks maybe, and they don't really know. So they go in there and what they encounter is much more than they bargained for. When opening a way through for ghosts of the past, just who is it that has been awakened and what do they want? Cause something else comes through that isn't just the children that have passed on. And thus, the tale of Bound Feet begins. Honestly, it was captivating from the start. It was very just alluring, and you're kind of pulled into this world of the grief of the mothers, the hope that maybe they'll be able to see their children or hear their voice one last time. But then you get the terror of this other ghost that they have awakened. It's a story that's intertwined with folklore, sad realizations, friendships, trust, lies, and betrayal. I really enjoy this book. So this book comes out on September 27th. And if you are looking for a short and sweet novella that has a really great story, weird liminal paranormal vibes, I gave this book five stars. You know, you don't always have time to read like a big chunky book, but this one's short and sweet. Bound Feet. Well, I didn't mean to rhyme that, but I did. Bound Feet, Kel Kelsey, you check it out. Uh, the My Dark Library series, check it out. I'll put a link to that too down below if you want to check out that. It'll tell you what other books are in the series. 
This book is almost like a secret garden gone wrong. Also, if you like horror and you like novellas, the next video coming up will be another horror novella that I really enjoyed. Stick around, check it out, and if you had fun hanging out today, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.